Renee, you're one of the finalists in the Bluebird Care Eye Care Awards. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us, why do you love to care? Um, after looking after my dad, it really inspired me to do the same for anyone else. And my dad said, you'll be a good carer. Go ahead and people will love you. Try and be a carer. So I took his advice on when I came back to Ireland after looking after nursing for him for six weeks and I love it. I love to care, I love helping people and the best thing about my job is that you know I get to go, it's a great variety, you're never bored, you go in and to different people all the time and you're able to make their day. Some people only see you in the day and you get to go home and they'll, when you're going home they're excited to see you for the next day and there's so rewarding, there's nothing more rewarding than being able to kind of help somebody or make their day better or you know so Robbie, you're one of the finalists for this Eye Care Bluebird Care Award. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Why do you love to care? Because we'll say this, uh, it's just to make a difference in people's lives. It mightn't be a huge difference I make, but it's a little difference. And every day that's what I try to do, just to make people more comfortable, more happy, see that they're as independent as they possibly can, stay at home as, uh, for as long as they possibly can, and just make that small little bit of a difference. Well, I'm in fourth year now in at Lone Institute of Technology, studying social care, and my uncle, he lives with us at home, he actually gave me the inspiration because I had so much crack, basically, with him and stuff, you know, and he lives with us at home, and uh, he kind of inspired me to go and start uh, doing social care and then I said I'd start with Bluebird Care and I absolutely love it now. And, and you must be so excited to be here at the awards and be a finalist. Yeah I couldn't believe it at all, I wasn't expecting it at all and actually my dad, he passed away just a month ago and he heard my poem. So oh, That's lovely, sorry to hear that. Yeah he said that'll go far, yeah. Well, well done Mary and the best of luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So George, you've been involved with a number of initiatives with Bluebird Care and I know as you said yourself, as a person getting older, that this Bluebird Care is very close to your heart. So how important is it for you to be involved in the event today? Well, I, I'm involved because um, what I see is what I hope the industry is going to look like when my turn comes. Uh, because we haven't really cracked, uh, as a world almost, how we look after people in uh, their elder years. Um, uh, too much responsibility is placed on families. And then the other hand, where there are no families, people are simply... Uh, put away in effect into homes. That's a tragedy because um, there is a complete misunderstanding, as I know, about growing old. We're actually, like, we're actually quite smart when we get old and we know what we want and we know what we want to do. I just came across some research um, from uh, America, from Australia in fact, which says that the older you get, the one thing that does happen is you become more prejudiced. So I'm becoming more prejudiced by every day, but one thing I'm prejudiced about is good care uh, for me in my final years. And I just hope that I'll do it in the comfort of my own home, helped by somebody who really cares about me. And that's why I'm here. Uh, this isn't a job for me. This is something I really want to do. And the first prize goes to... Robbie Ball. <laughs> Robbie, congratulations. You're the overall winner here at the Eye Care Awards. How do you feel? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I never thought that I'd win it. Absolutely. As we come up today, just enjoy ourselves and have a good time and just, you know what I mean, relax, be together. God, when they start a name and then I must say accommodation have been great. Next thing the names started coming down. Five, four, three, two, one, and I said, you know, next thing, bang. <laughs> Jesus, like being hit in the woods, uh, turn of bricks, like, but I can't. Well, it's, it's not for us, for me, it's for all the girls and all the lads and that work for Bluebird Care and Claire because they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, Robbie's been working with us for the last year and a half, and I am so delighted that he won today. He makes a fantastic ambassador for Bluebird Care in Clare and for Bluebird Care all over Ireland as well. 
and I'm, you know, he represents probably all the carers. So Eddie, fantastic event here today. Yeah. Tell us why this award is so important. Well. I suppose um, we decided this year that we wanted to give something back to our carers because they are the lifeblood of our business and they do such a wonderful job. They provide thousands of hours of care in hundreds of households around the country on a daily basis. And we just felt that a competition like this and um, hearing their stories and getting their stories out there on our social networks would just mean so much to everybody. So that was the idea behind it. So George, we saw you really having the crack with people in the room today, really, really having a good time. Do you think that reflects on the type of people that we had here today? Well, when you think I meant none of them before today, and the fact that I was able to interact with them so easily is an indication of one of the great skills of their job is the ability to communicate. I just couldn't imagine a carer who couldn't communicate, a carer who had, didn't have a natural warmth, a carer who didn't have a natural empathy. So therefore, when somebody like me comes along, we've never met and we just talk, all that comes across. So, no, I wasn't surprised. I think because they have all the qualities uh, that goes with being a carer. Brian, you're the managing director of Bluebird Care. Absolutely fantastic event today. Uh, George Hook was MC in it. Everyone was so entertained. How do you think it went? Uh, everybody seems to have really enjoyed the day. George is the he's the perfect host and the MC on a day like today. He interacted with everybody in the room. George understands our industry and understands the work that our people are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so he, he he asked the right questions and had a great bit of fun in doing that. Mm -hmm.